Got a little scrappers. Uh, today I'm gonna tear down this old screen and get an old uh, <laughs> antenna. I'll raise that camera up just a hair. Try to zoom in a little bit. Try to remember to keep an eye on the monitor to keep you guys in a view shot. Yeah, there's not a lot of incentives, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there is. Yeah, metal rivets that stick. So, scrapyard probably dock your set or the irony aluminum something. Aluminum's not paying much at this time anyway. I thought we put a 7 16 speed socket on this thing. Get the bracket off of here. Mounts to the pole. That's the best way I found. Got a 316 drill bit on here. And you got rivets. sell it, but man, it's analog. I don't know, you never know, it may sell, may not. But, uh, get that part off there. Piece of plastic. Now, this one here is already broke off. A little, if I get a little rivet. Good for the pliers. Yeah, let me fix this, make sure it's, yeah, magnet doesn't stick, so that's aluminum. And being a small piece, I think I'll get a little tray. Oh, I got one right there anyway. Uh, I'm not sure how well you guys are seeing this. Try to zoom in for a close up. Seems kind of out of balance there. Okay, I'll get you guys right on that edge. Try 
here on this edge so you can see I got a rivet. A rivet here, a rivet here. Bunch of them rivets wrapped up around your drill bit. I find it best to just put it, put it in reverse, and then uh, get a hold of it. some pliers. It's come right off. Now, out here in this neck of the woods, there electric company run fiber. I think fiber optics for your internet. I think they've got it ready to go at this time. But, uh, out here in the country kind of I kind of selected the internet providers other than satellite, which I've been hesitant about that. supposed to go live here pretty soon, so I don't think it's going to be much more than what I'm paying now, but uh, what I'm seeing is going to have upload speeds about as, about as fast as the download speeds. So then I might be able to feel a little more comfortable about the longer videos. Now a 10 minute video takes a, probably a good hour. A 20 minute video takes a couple hours. Yeah, sometimes these, when they got these aluminum rods on here, sometimes it's hard to get in there and get a bite on that rivet, the head of that rivet. Maybe you can work it back and forth. I got a tin bucket over here. I need to probably get something to put this aluminum rod in. I got an Arbor Freight bucket here. I thought I had another long one here. Maybe I'll have to put it on lower. Anyway, so far, I don't know if you guys even saw that because I wasn't even paying attention there. Next, I got an arm on this thing. It's got a rivet, rivet right here. I drill that rivet out. If I had a wash machine that had the tin lid on, it'd be a little easier. Get that one completely out. So I'll set that aside for right now. So here we got got these little arms sticking out, three rivets right there.
right there. Okay, that piece is clean. This metal got some rust build up on it. That doesn't help. I feel like I sprayed some WD-40 or some breakaway on it. Would probably definitely help. Cats are all out here by the workshop trying to stay out of the rain. And they're picking on each other. Okay, I'm coming right along on this thing. I don't know what it's going to weigh out, but a lot of times it's probably not much. Now, this end rod has a little black end cap in it. You can see. So there I'll just uh, widen out these pliers a little bit, get a grip on it, and they come right out. Back out on this a little bit. Now you see, there's not a whole lot left of this thing, but uh, got a couple wing nuts here where the wires connect. I don't know how it's going to be this year picking up, but in years past, I'd, I'd probably get five or six of those things. I always kind of dreaded them because of the time it takes to drill the holes and pull it apart and everything. So I'd usually just toss them off to the side. And get to them eventually. So this is a 316 inch drill bit. Probably go a little bigger if you want it. even and knock them through. No, I don't think I have a punch out here.
pair of ice grips may work. Uh, yeah, I'll grab a nail. I know I got nails over here. Makeshift punch. This hammer is a little overkill. small pieces, nice piece of square tubing, oh, good four, four foot long or so. I've been putting all my aluminum into 55 gallon barrels, so a lot of this stuff I'll cut it down to about three foot where it's fitting the barrel good, or even cut it down smaller. I've been, uh, Considering one of those uh, cable cutters, cable cutting shear, and uh, just mount one handle to the work to a workbench, and then just use that shear to cut it to length, rather than trying to use a sawzall or angle grinder. Yeah, this is basically the bolt here that where the uh, everything bolts on. I don't know if I can have this unscrew. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. May have to punch it out of there or something. I'll work on that little piece later. Got a couple more here to do. You can see there's a little time involved breaking one of these down. So you have to decide for yourself is it. Is it worth breaking it down? Or just sell it as irony aluminum, dirty aluminum, whatever the yard wants to call it. And uh, just let it go for that and move on. I've always just held them till winter time. Held them till winter and then uh, Work them out. Work them out when things are slow. Of course, the way I do it, I don't. I don't really advertise on buy sell trade. I've been meaning to, but I've been staying busy enough with what I have. So and I've seen other people advertising on uh, some of the Facebook groups. They're easy enough, you can fold them and have to break them down to smaller sizes. I think right now I've got three 55 gallon barrels build up, working on number four. Putting them in poly barrels, plastic ones, I need to get, get a few more. Okay, that's done. That took way too long. Okay, on this dryer or yeah, washer, usually this piece right here is aluminum. But I'm running over with a magnet and well, it's not sticking right there. 
can see just about everywhere else it's been sticking. I bet I don't have a fill bit out here for my drill. I'll step in the other room real quick and grab one. I'll buy this little, this little pack of them. I'm getting low, I'm going to have to buy some more. Only three left in there. Get them at Ace Hardware. They're not too expensive. I think I misplaced more than I break. Take them out to use something else and to get what I set it down at or don't put it in, don't put it in the magnet tray and it, it disappears. I was thinking that base plate was a uh, metal there for a little bit. Yeah, a little rat's nest. Okay, we got a pretty solid tin plate across the back here. That's probably why I was getting that uh, magnet to stick. side there, the cat's been laying on it. Good thing it opened up out to the greenhouse, but uh, that work. pieces here. I'm pretty sure these two end pieces are just plastic. Yep. They said they didn't feel like aluminum. Okay, so disconnected. And for the most part, probably the, your biggest money, which you got a little copper bearing motor here. I'll uh, get this unhooked. 
bring closer to the camera. For those of you who haven't done this yet, You got a little copper bearing motor there. Uh, you can either tear it apart and get the copper out or you can just put all these into a bucket and the scrapyard will buy them as copper bearing motors. Kind of zoom in here a little bit. Just for a minute. Here I got the wires coming in from the power cord, which I never even cut the power cord off. So there's the power cord. everything is taken care of up here now. Now what I usually do, I'll spin this around a little bit. Oh my, this one's got a bottom on it. Lots of fun. Okay. Usually washing machines don't have solid bottoms on them. This is probably ancient. So, for the most part, what I want to do, I want to try to get the motor out of there. Uh, I'm going to run in and grab my air chisel. Now, for most of you guys, Pop the top off, reach down as far as you can, cut the wires, cut the wires out, you know. But because uh, your motor most likely has aluminum windings, as old as this one is, though, I'm not sure. Yep, plug the uh, some air in. I tend to have a slight air leak in my hoses or connections somewhere. But I don't want to shut the compressor off because it takes a while to build it back up. So what I do, I just unhook off, unhook my main air line. And then whenever I need the air, all I gotta do is hook it up and I'm good to go. So.
inside of these two pieces right here, they're filled with copper. So, the time they're worth grabbing. Imagine you can probably just sell them, you know, take them apart out of there and fill the bucket up. Scrap here and probably buy them like that. that motor down in there it doesn't look like an easy chore to get that thing out of there so and like I say it really looks like it's got but looking at them windings you know they'll, they'll be copper colored because it's the coating they put over the wires kind of an insulation but uh, I'm sure they're aluminum windings. Now you do have cast aluminum, you know, on the frame. So if you really wanted to, you could probably get that out of there. But uh, I don't think I'm going to bother trying. So I think that's going to be it for this video. And uh, so I'm just going to take it out and take it down to the field where I'm staging my washers and stoves and whatnot and put it with my stockpile down there and uh, call this one good looks like this piece right here is a aluminum too because if a guy really wanted to tear them all the way down you got the aluminum gear case and everything else but uh, that gets pretty messy so I'm gonna call it quits for this video so we'll see you guys on the next one later this week Bye-bye.